So here we are in my 2003 Saab 93 convertible. It's an SE. It's got the Vigit appearance package, which I think is also uh, the aero option. And we are going to go through the steps for programming a new key. I happen to have a Tech 2 clone. There you go. And I'm able to do it. I purchased a key blank off of Amazon. I, at the time I purchased it, it was $59. I looked at them today. They're now at $75. Um, I took it to a shop in Menor called uh, American Key Pros, and they were able to copy the key for me. Uh, then I brought it home and was able to program it to my car. And I'm going to go through those steps right now. So I'm going to put the existing key that I had in the ignition, turn the key to on. It's done beeping at me, so now I'm going to follow the prompts on the Tech 2. I'm going to press Enter to get into the module. I'm going to select the first option, which is Diagnostics. I'm going to select the year of the car, which is 2003. Now, as this is a 2003, it was the last year of this OG body style for the convertible. The sedan is referred to as the NG, and there are two options for 9.3 on the Tech 2. There's a 9.3, which is this, and there's the 9.3 Sport, which is the four-door sedan. So I'm going to select 9.3. I am going to select option three, which is body. I am going to select twice, which is the theft warning system. It is going to establish communications with it. I saw some indicators blink on the dashboard, which means it has established communication. And I'm going to go to step four or function four, programming. On the screen, it reads, learn transponders and remotes. So I'm going to enter this. It says, note, before you start learning keys and remotes, you must have all the keys and remotes to the car available. Do you want to exit? No, I do not. Step one, put an already learned key in the ignition lock and turn the key to on, which it is. Press OK to start learning remotes and keys. Then we press OK. Watch the fasten seat belt lamp. Press the remote once per second on the unlock button. More than eight key pressings may be required. So I'm going to do that. You can't see the fasten seat belt sign, uh, indicator, but I'm going to do it right now. Fasten seat belt blinked. Step three, remove the key from the ignition lock and enter the next key. Turn the key to the position on. This is my new key that I just had cut. We are at the on position. I'm going to press the unlock button eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It blinked just once. Press OK. I am done. I am sure that all the transponders and remotes have been learned. Yes. I am going to take the key out of the ignition and I am going to press the unlock button and it should chirp. That's unlock. Three is trunk. I'm not getting a lock because I have the key, but because I have the doors open and we're going to try the key that I had for the car. There we go, that's unlock, that's trunk, and I'm gonna trust that the lock button is gonna work. So there we are, programmed a new key with my Tech 2. I got it cut at American Key Pros in Menor, and I bought the blank off Amazon. If you need some help, the folks at American Key Pros have my information. They can get you in touch with me, and I'd be happy to program a key for you, and we can work out a reasonable fee. Thanks.